my pants. Cleaning up dog poo off a carpet with a spoon. I could keep my dream alive for a little bit longer and I won't go bankrupt <laughs> or get evicted. Yay! <laughs> Good morning everybody, hello and welcome to another weekly vlog. Um, so yesterday after I left you, um, my back went again. I can't believe it, I'm trying not to cry because, <coughs> oh ow. Um, yeah, I just can't believe it. I haven't done anything strenuous and then I literally just bent down to give Toby his food and it just went and started spasming again and it's been absolute agony i haven't slept a wink look at my eyes it's just been so painful it doesn't feel as bad as last time it spasmed out yesterday for a bit and then i was able to get up on my own because i was on my own as well i think when things like this happen it just makes you realize just how alone you are when you live alone <laughs> does that make sense like it was the same before christmas when i had that really quick onset awful uh water infection i was just in the bath crying because i was like I'm completely alone. If Lucy wasn't here, and there's Lucy now, she literally just texted me. Um, if Lucy wasn't here to come and take me to the hospital, I'd be screwed, like literally screwed. So yeah, just kind of makes you a little, a little bit aware that you are very alone. Thank goodness for dry shampoo. That's all I can say right now. Um, so yeah, Chris was supposed to be coming over tonight to sort of look after me and um, do stuff for me because I can't really move that much. But he's been held up at work so he can't come and it's made me so sad like i've literally been crying a little bit because i just feel so emotional on this kokodamal and i'm just like he's not coming over i'm so alone oh, it's ridiculous it's amazing how much like tablets can affect you and how much like being useless can affect you like not being able to do stuff especially if you're a strong independent woman like me it's um Makes you feel like crap, if I'm honest. So yeah, I don't really know what I'm gonna do for food. I think we'll have to raid the freezer and um, see what's in there and very, very slowly bend down <laughs> and put stuff in the oven. <sighs> I just really didn't need this right now. Well, you never really need it, do you? But it's just one of those where, oh. I'm gonna chat to you tomorrow in the hope that I might be feeling a little bit better and a bit more cheery for the internet. Because otherwise, if this carries on, this vlog is not going up. Because you guys are all going to unsubscribe and be like, Oh, she's so miserable. All she ever does is get ill. Which, at the moment, yeah. <laughs> so it's 9pm. And for some reason, I've decided to start watching the Love Island final. I haven't watched a single Love Island episode. I don't know what's going on. I don't know who anybody is. And to be honest, I quite loathe it all. <laughs> um, but I'm sat here just feeling really sorry for myself with my dog on me, who is loving the show by the way, absolutely riveted. But Chris is on his way over, he didn't finish work until like half past seven, eight o'clock, and um, yeah, he's on his way over, because he's like, I feel like you need me, so he's coming over. Major boyfriend points for that. Even though I was like, no, 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 because you've got such long days, and it, to be fair, it really will sort of, mess him up tomorrow because he's gonna have to leave at like 5 a.m or something to get there because he's doing such long days at the moment um but he insisted so yeah official knight in shining armor although i look horrendous seriously look at those eye bags they're practically bruised i am that tired and i'm just off my face on cocodamol so Good morning everybody, happy Tuesday. Sort of waddling along. <laughs> my back's feeling a little bit better today actually. It's kind of, my hips really hurt. They really ache as they do when I get a bit of a bad back, but my back seems to have loosened up a little bit, which is good. I think it must just have been constantly taking um, the drugs yesterday and just enabling it to relax and loosen up. So I've got a dog hair in my mouth, story of my life. So yeah, I feel a little bit better and I managed to get a full night's sleep, which is really great. Chris came round in the end and he bought me loads of crisps and chocolate and salads for the daytime and some cheese to put in them and watermelon for breakfast and orange juice and avocado and basically so I can eat because 
I'll be honest with you, my fridge is empty and I can't really go anywhere to get anything. Uh, yeah, it was just really sweet. And then so we literally had like an hour together before we had to go to bed because I was pretty much just off my bed on drugs anyway. And he was so tired because he's been doing really long days. Yeah, it just sort of really cheered me up because I'd had a proper, proper lonely day and miserable day as well. And yeah, it just made me feel a lot better. I look terrible. Gonna make myself a cup of tea, have some of that orange juice. Maybe I've got a frozen pit of bread in the freezer. <laughs> One thing he didn't bring was bread. That would have been useful, bless him. Um, so I've got a frozen pit of bread. I'm gonna have some avocado on that. <sighs> and mum and dad are coming up today, so they come. I think they're just coming up to see Toby personally. <laughs> um, but because I've got furniture outside now, dad can sit out there and we can sit out there and have a cup of tea. Um, because obviously he can't come in the house because he's allergic to dogs and there's archy hair everywhere. Mm, somebody just phoned me, like with no caller ID. And then when I answered, it was just somebody making like heavy breathing sex sounds down the phone. I've never had that before. It's really freaked me out. Like, really freaked me out. Could just be someone pressing numbers into a phone and seeing who they get or who answers, but yeah, that's not nice, is it? I've literally got the best parents in the world ever. So mum and dad came round. Sorry, I didn't film, but I just wanted to spend some time with them. Um, and mum has hoovered my entire flat to a level that I've never seen done before. She's literally like Kim and Aggie, who remembers those. And uh, yeah, got up all the dog hair, literally done all the sills, behind the sofa, everything. Because I can't lift my hoover at the moment with my back, so, and it really needed doing. So mum did that and then dad did the garden. Let me come and show you the garden. So he sweeped all the leaves up and potted my plant for me in this very cool plant pot that I got from John Lewis. I used my Christmas gift vouchers for it and it's got like a special drainage system. It's very clever, but he potted that for me. And then mum and dad both bought me these, which they found in Sainsbury's and they're fake, but they're for outdoor use. And I just think they look really cute. It's properly brightened up the courtyard area. And then dad fixed um, this, which we, we just found behind the bins. And we put it up to stop Toby from getting behind there because he eats stones. So it's kind of just been propped up, but dad's like made it look like a proper door. So I'm tempted to get like a little door handle, like a gate handle. So it looks like a gate. I'm just, it's amazing. And then we took Toby out on a little walk to a pet store that's really quite close because um, he can only go out 15 minutes at a time at the moment but we could get there and back within that time and I got him some treats and then on the way back mum was like let's pop into Aldi and get you some bits for the free, free for the fridge because I know you don't have any food and I was like okay thanks mum. <laughs> it's just one of those where I just really feel like I've had a lovely afternoon with him. Oh, and dad is gonna fix my um, cloud nine hair strains because I was like, I was just about to put them in the bin outside and he was like, what are you putting those in the bin for? I was like, oh, the, the plug's broken and one of you guys suggested changing the plug but I would not know where to start changing a plug. And dad was like, yeah, that's a really easy job. I'll do that for you. And I was like, hallelujah. So yeah, dad's gonna fix my hair straighteners. <sighs> what, what would I bloody do without them, eh? Ah, and it's just been nice to have a bit of company today as well. I just feel, just feel really happy and loved and yeah, I love my parents, I really do. I've been trying to teach Toby to go on his bed um, when there's food around on the coffee table because he keeps counter surfing and like jumping up, which is fine when there's nothing on it because I keep it clear on purpose. But when we have food or drinks on there, I don't want him up on there. So the whole point is whenever there's food on there, I say bed and get him to sit on the bed and then I throw him bits of treats on the bed so he realises that if he goes on there or comes begging to us he doesn't get any food but if he sits on his bed nicely he gets food and he's picking it up so quickly. His eyes are changing colour as well, they're not blue anymore, they're all green. I'll be happy if they stay green but I'll also quite like them if they go brown so yeah. And he's got like a proper light with a little brown nose. I've noticed that a lot of other red cocker spaniels on the internet have all got black noses and he's got a lovely brown nose. It's got very, it makes his face look quite soft, I think. What are you looking so sad for? You're doing very well. 
Oh, he's sticking his tongue out at me. That's not very nice. Somebody just potted in. Carrying this, which isn't yours, is it? That's my shoe. Hmm? Literally blatantly just potted straight past me carrying this. Look how many toys are in this living room that you are allowed to chew on. And you decide to take my shoe. Hmm? Pest. Literally just coming to put this back in your... Ooh. So, I've just been doing an Instagram Live with you guys and it was probably one of my best ones yet. Like, I really enjoyed it. We just... It, it, I love the Instagram Lives because it just genuinely feels like we're just having a chat and we're all just mates and stuff and it's... um Yeah, they make me happy. Um, But a few of you guys, we were just talking about, like, how crap pay is on youtube and stuff and i think a lot of you guys didn't realize that we really don't get that much money well i certainly don't with my subscriber numbers and views and stuff don't get that much money from vlogs i probably from these weekly vlogs every week i probably get about a pound <laughs> and they take the most work out of anything i do with my blog and my youtube channel but i do them because i love them and you guys love them and they're my most popular content but that's how much i make from them it's it's nothing um anyway so we were talking about the broken ring light that the dogs broke and loads of you guys were like oh we really want to donate some money to um help you pay for your ring light and then a few people mentioned this website called patreon i don't know if you've heard of it before i hadn't heard of it um somebody mentioned it the other week and that was the first i'd heard of it but it's essentially sorry i'm just gonna let the dog out it's essentially a website where you can set up a page and people can pledge money to you so like 50p a month um or a pound a month or something or a dollar or whatever it is and um pay for you to make content one second so it's, just, it's essentially just a really great way for you to support um creators that you enjoy and um yeah i, I think we just we sat there and we worked out and we were like say like four thousand people watch these vlogs every week if those, if those, if those 4,000 people gave me 50p, I'd have enough money to pay my bills. Well, more than enough money. It's like 50p a month. Um, I'd have my wages, more than my wages. And it was, it, and it just kind of made a bit of sense. So, um, yeah, I've made a Patreon page. I will leave the link in the info bar down below. If you feel obliged or you'd really like to support me um or if you're just genuinely shocked about how little we make from these videos um then yeah come and make a pledge 50p a month if you can afford it or if you want to and um yeah like it just goes into my pot so i'll be able to actually do stuff <laughs> and it won't just be me sat in my flat all week um but yeah, you guys asked for it, so um, I made one. I, do, I still feel a little bit weird about it. It's so funny, I was saying this in the live, like I feel a bit strange about it because, I don't know, it's just odd. But then you guys were like, well, we pay our license fee for the BBC every year. So why would we not pay to support somebody that we enjoy watching on YouTube? And I was a bit like, yeah, I guess I kind of see that. And um I don't know, I just feel it, it's just feels, it feels a bit weird asking for money, um, but yeah, I don't know, I, you guys, you guys told me to put it together, so I put it together, it's down there, if you want to donate 50 cents or 50p or a dollar or whatever, um, then do, and every little helps I suppose, but yeah, I guess I've put a goal on there that I want to reach um, 80 quid to replace my ring light. <laughs> so if I can get to the 80 quid, that would be incredible. Um, but, you know, it's just one of those things. I think that you guys, you watch these videos and I think you, you just want to help. Um, 
and a few of you said that you were already patrons for other people and stuff and you make pledges for them so they were like you were like oh i'd love to do it for you so anyway so i'm ranting i just feel a bit strange about it it's just odd asking for money but um you guys want to do it so the link's down below it would be amazing and yeah if everybody who watched this gave me 50p a month then I could keep my dream alive for a little bit longer and I won't go bankrupt <laughs> or get evicted. Yay! <laughs> Lovely start to my morning today. So it's absolutely pelting it down outside. So I guess he didn't want to go out and stay out this morning. But his toilet break. I'll give you a clue, it's Toby. Um, so that meant we went out for a nice little wee, got a treat, well done, and then came back inside and proceeded to um, poo all over my carpet. Yeah, that's a good one, isn't it? Especially when it's not completely solid for some reason. So, um, yeah, just been spending my uh, first waking moments cleaning up dog poo off a carpet with a spoon. You think I'd be used to it after Wilson, but it's been a while since I've had to do that. Uh, just had like flashbacks to pretty much every single day with my old dog. So, uh, I guess we should be grateful that it's not every single day and this is a bit of a one-off, but oh, it just feels like we've taken a massive step back over the past two days with toilet training, which is very annoying. Because um, he was doing so, so well. And then it just seems to be in the evenings, he just wheeze everywhere on purpose. Obviously they don't wee on purpose, they're not fully toilet trained yet, but it does feel like that sometimes. I didn't sleep very well either, had terrible dreams, had like a dream that I was Snow White in this play and then nobody had given me the script so I went on stage and I just didn't know what was going on and then nobody else knew what was going on and then the audience walked out and then Toby had done a poo on the floor in the audience and someone was like, he's really stupid, he's not very clever as a dog and I'm like, no he is, he's really clever, he's just not got the toiletry. <laughs> you can tell what's on my mind, can't you? And I did a load of washing yesterday. Um, and it stinks for some reason, like it really, really stinks. So I've had to just put it all back in again on a hotter wash. It just smelled like, it just smelled like really not very nice. I didn't leave it in there or anything. I, I don't know what's going on. So I rinsed my washing machine with nothing in it and then I put everything back in on a 40 degree wash. So yeah, it's just really annoying because especially because I'm like running out of pants. <laughs> So I need my pants. So today I have to take a promotional picture for Nespresso for my Instagrammy. And I was also gonna make a big chunk of the Queensland vlog. Um, but the lovely Ryan who I was there with had a drone and he said that I could take a lot of his drone footage to put in my vlog and he's in Austria for the next two weeks so I won't have access to his hard drive to send it over so there is a little part of me that's wondering whether it might be best to wait um, a couple of weeks until I have his drone footage so it makes the vlog a little bit better and then obviously today just do something that I would have done next week instead or a different day instead. Um, so yeah, if you're wondering where the Queensland vlog is, that's just the dilemma I've got at the moment. I mean, I could be waiting for ages, couldn't I really? He could sort of keep forgetting or whatever, or he could have another trip come up so he can't send things over. Um, but yeah, I think he said like two weeks, so it'll be the end of next week he gets back, and then I can do it the week after that. I don't know, I'm, I'm in a little bit of a catch-22 with this, because technically it's not my drone, so you guys are used to seeing my travel vlogs without drone footage, but some of the stuff... It's just incredible that I kind of want you to see it. I don't know. So if you're wondering where the Queensland vlog is, that's the reason why. See all this stuff that goes on behind the scenes that you don't even know about. You're probably just sat there thinking, God, she's rubbish, she hasn't done any work. <laughs> I have, just not the Queensland stuff. Although loads of you guys have been leaving me lovely comments on the Queensland blog, which went up the other day. So thank you very much for that. I'm glad you liked it. Um, it's a bumper post, I know. There's a lot to read and look at, but it's just so much in there. Um, yeah, love it, absolutely loved it. I wish I was back in Queensland right now. <laughs> also, I just wanted to say thank you so much to everybody who's pledged on my Patreon account already. I have six people who've all pledged um, one dollar each, so that means I get four pounds sixty a month now um, for making these videos for you guys. And I just wanted to say thank you because it's just it's just blown me away a little bit that you guys actually would want to pay a subscription for this channel. Um, I mean, I know I guess we, we pay, what do I pay for Netflix? seven pound a month i probably watch orange is the new black on there and that's it god that's really bad actually isn't it 
Maybe I should cancel that. <laughs> um, but I pay seven pounds for Netflix. Um, so paying what? What's one dollar? Seventy, eighty p. Paying eighty p for this channel if you watch every single week, I guess is reasonable. I don't know, but I just yeah. Thank you so much, guys. It's amazing. I'm literally making more now of these weekly vlogs than I ever had before. Do you want me to have a look at my analytics? Let's have a look at the analytics and let's see how much we make from YouTube from these weekly vlogs. So one of my old videos, which is the Cheats Victory Roll tutorial, that bring that has bought me um, eight dollars in the last twenty eight days, which is really good. So that's what about six quid, six quid, um, and meet the mystery man vlog that got me one pound one one dollar thirty two pence <laughs> in ad revenue. Wow. God, we're doing a lot of work here for not a lot of money, aren't I? What a fool. <laughs> but I guess that just gives you a bit of an idea how much your pledges on Patreon actually mean. So thank you so much. <laughs> um, it's a huge help. Thank you. Right, wash my hair, put some makeup on, put some clothes on, actual human clothes. Um, and I'm off to Pizza Express with Tracy. I've had this booked in for like over a month now and yeah I'm really looking forward to it so um, those of you guys actually you guys asked me a lot about budgeting and how you budget when you're on a budget etc um what I do is I basically sit down at the start of every month and I write down everything that I know is going to happen so I knew that I was going out for lunch with Tracy for example because we've had it booked in the diary for ages and then I put aside the money that I think I'm going to spend so we get a deal at Pizza Express where it's like two pizzas for a tenner so I know that I probably won't spend more than £10 so I put that, either draw the money out or put that money aside like virtually uh, and then I've got money for everything that I know that's going on that month and then everything else that's spare is just for things that pop up and crop up along the way and then I decide whether I want to spend my money on it or not um so yeah this is the last thing that I've got planned I think for this month so I can actually go out and not be stressed about the money because I've put that aside for this but that's a little tip from me to you guys um because you ask a lot so there we go you ask you're always asking um, but there you go anyway it's chucking it down with rain so there's probably no point in me even doing my hair but yeah i'm looking forward to a little bit of a break from the puppy <laughs> don't tell him it was delicious i actually had a vegan pizza shock horror um i just thought it sounded good on the menu and i thought i wanted to try it it was very very nice i would definitely have it again um it would be really nice with some chicken on it <laughs> uh, but the vegan mozzarella was great didn't really sort of miss the fact that it didn't have cheese on it and uh yeah i think i might think about getting that next time because obviously i'm not really great with cheese so mm, very good pizza express impressed indeed so i'm currently in nutsford wherever Nutsford is, no offence if you're from Nutsford. Um, I've come with Lucy because she's doing something very, very exciting for her business. I can't tell you, it's all a secret at the moment. Um, but she needed some moral support. Uh, so I've come along with her. I thought, I'm doing my emails this afternoon. I can do those in the car. So I shall tag along for moral support. And the weather is actually quite nice now. A bit hot, if anything. You wanna go for a walk? You wanna go for a walk? You don't know what walk means yet, do you? You've only been on two. It was very excited to see me. We've been very good. No jumping up. <laughs> You're so cute. That was a very good walk. We met a little dog called Gizmo and we met some children. He stopped to stroke us as well. All good practice, all good practice. Um, yeah, it's all really good. I'm absolutely good about those puppy classes because I was ready to take him, but they don't start their second ones until like September. So maybe have to apply for those when they come round or try and find another school. But yeah, I think he's coming along well. He walks quite well on the lead, even though he's a bit of a maniac. <laughs> Definitely need to get him a harness and um, a retractable lead. I've ordered one of those. So hope we can try recall and stuff in the park, but yeah. Seems to very like his walks very much. I'm all sweaty though now. Should not have worn a polo neck. It's actually really warm now, considering it was like torrential rain earlier. So, quick change, I think, before Chris gets here. I think this is a first in my kitchen or any kitchen I've ever been in. A man cooking dinner. What are we having? Uh, chicken turret head pie up. Oh, yes. Very, very nice. This you is a man cooking dinner, you mean. This is the first time your kitchen's actually getting anyone cooking dinner on it. Oh, excuse me! What did I cook you the other week? 
You took a salad out of the fridge. No, I cooked you a Thai curry. Oh, that's true. I'll tell her about it. I'll tell her about it. Are we watching Don't Tell the Bride later as well? No, we are not. <laughs> I've had enough of this. Love Island was bad enough. <laughs> I actually do think I'm gonna have to watch Love Island last year because I watched the final for some ungodly reason and I loved it. Like I was literally crying my eyes out even though I had no idea who anybody was. So uh, yeah, I feel like next year I'm gonna have to watch it which is a bad sign. Please sir, can I have some more? Wait, there is more. <laughs> Good morning everybody. Having quite a nice sort of relaxed Thursday morning so far. Um, today is just another day stuck in the house editing vlogs and writing stuff and not really doing a lot really and then tonight I'm just on my own so um yeah bring on payday seriously I'm like I'm ready now <laughs> I'm ready now just to get back to normal but then again I don't really know what I'd do I think I might go to the gym today actually it's just the weather's so awful like you can't even just sort of think right I'll go for a little a long walk or whatever it's just it's miserable out there so um yeah maybe I'll go to the gym later who knows the council haven't taken my bin because somebody has walked past and put their rubbish in it. And it's the blue bin which is recycling. Brilliant, thanks for that. So I've now got a full bin that I'm gonna to have to wait two weeks until they can get rid of. Brilliant, thanks. Good boy, Toby, good boy. Oh, <laughs> just the way they weave in front of you and stuff. Come on, are you drunk again? Oh, I look horrendous, but you know. Just been on a dog walk, not a fashion show. Um, yeah, the thing that really annoys me and the things that I've noticed since sort of walking dogs, especially a young dog, is the amount of rubbish that's on our floors and our pavements and in the forests and in the parks and there's just so much rubbish everywhere and it's a nightmare because he's sniffing everything, he's picking everything up. Don't be a litter bug, people. I know you guys won't be because you're responsible adults, but teach other people not to be litter bugs as well. I once saw two kids drop like a load of rubbish and go to McDonald's bag on the floor. I yelled at them and they were just like, you what, you what? I little chaps, it didn't do anything. But I went and picked it up and they saw me pick it up and they were like, yeah, pick up my rubbish, bitch. And I just thought maybe, just maybe when they get home, they'll think about that. They probably didn't. But you know, I think I'll do my bit for society. So disaster strikes today. Um, I have a little wire behind uh, my bottom teeth and also behind my front two teeth to keep them where they are because I've got a hereditary gap in the middle of my front two ones. So I've had that since I was like 16 and I had my original braces. Um, and then the bottom ones is when I had my six months smiles the other week. Turns out today, my top one I think has come loose. Um, some of the filling that's over the top of it that keeps it on my tooth has come off because I can feel the end of the wire and I can also feel the wire moving. So yeah, I've just rung up my dentist and they were like, oh yeah, not sure if we can do that. I think you might have seen an orthodontist. I'm like, okay. So I phoned the dentist that I had my six month smiles thing done. I know they can do it because they have done it. And they were like, um, yeah, but it's gonna cost you like 120 pound to get it done because it will be the cost of a private, having a filling done privately like shit I don't have that kind of money and they were like but we're not sure why your dentist won't do it because it's a really easy procedure all they have to do is literally put a bit of filling stuff over the top of the wire and adhere it back to your teeth so I'm not so sure I've got an appointment with my dentist this afternoon and they're gonna see if they can do it but I've got to pay 20 pound for the privilege of seeing the dentist and then they might not even be able to do it he's weed on my floor we've literally just been out for a walk so I've got to pay £20 to go and see my dentist to see if he can do it. So I might end up just wasting 20 quid there because he might not be able to do it. And then if he can do it, the price of a filling on the NHS is like 50 quid, 56 pound or something. So essentially it might end up costing me about 70, 80 quid, which I just don't have right now. So yeah, when it rains, it really pours, doesn't it? It really pours just like the, the clouds just shit on you essentially well it looks like my look is looking up a little bit on the uh, money front because i've just been to the dentist he managed to fix the wire behind my teeth and he only charged me 20 quid which is the consultation charge instead of the 80 pounds that they said that they were gonna charge me so i'm very very happy with that still 20 pounds i didn't really have but <laughs> it's better than 80 pounds i really don't have so yeah feels massive though they always feel huge, like the bonds that they put on with like braces. I feel like it's giving me a little bit of a lisp at the moment, but hopefully it'll just wear down a little bit and I'll just get used to it being there. Hello, puppy. I didn't know you lived here. 
That's funny because I live here too and I've always wanted a little puppy. Do you think you will be mine forever and ever? Can we be best friends? <laughs> you can't be if you continue to chew mommy's clothes. Hey, come on, let's go outside for a wee wee. Hello everybody, happy Friday. The weather's miserable again today. I haven't really got a lot going on. I'm feeling a bit trapped in the house, if I'm completely honest. Just waiting for payday so I can actually leave. <laughs> Having a bit of a creativity slump at the moment. I like, don't really know what content to be producing, um, what I want to produce, what you guys want to read and watch. And you guys have been so good this week, like commenting on things and really get involved. And it's been amazing. So I kind of like don't want to let you down. I don't know what you guys want to be reading or watching. See, I do a hairstyling post, but nobody wants to see how we style this. I also don't really use any particular products at the moment, not really wearing much makeup, not particularly dressing very well. So yeah, we're a bit stuck. The only thing I can really talk about is dog poo. <laughs> it's a year today since Wilson passed away. Mum made me this adorable little frame for my birthday. Uh, I really like it. That's his little tag from his collar and that's his collar. And obviously that's a picture of him. I just, this bit the coloured writing i think if i could cover that with a marble or just a plain white background it'd be perfect but yeah can you believe it's been a year this is my favorite thing that he does he'll bring his toy oh. <laughs> and he'll put it near your mouth because he wants you to bite it with him <laughs> look how cute this is my favorite thing that you do it is Oh, so I've had a bit of a change of plans this afternoon. Um, I was going to be going on another secret business mission with Lucy this afternoon. Um, I'll tell you all about it when it's all sorted, but I don't want to jinx it for her and I also don't want to say anything if she doesn't want to say anything just yet. Um, but yeah, it was meant to be a big sort of mission this afternoon and it's basically been cancelled because it's going to turn out to be like a six hour round trip. And I got a text message earlier from a very handsome man who wants to take me out on a surprise date night tonight, which is really nice. I've been feeling pretty crappy this week, a bit more than I've sort of even let on in the vlogs. Um, very lonely, very sort of, what am I doing with my life? Where is everything going? Um, work's been slow and it's just, yeah, it's just been a bit crap. And I sort of poured my heart out and he's like, right, okay, well, spontaneous date night tonight then, so get dressed up and I'm taking you out, so. Yeah, amazing. So anyway, I got all dressed up. I'm not wearing this, by the way. I was I was in my dress and did my makeup and my hair and stuff. And then um, found out I wasn't going with Lucy, so I was going to go with her. And then as soon as I got back, just jump in my car and whiz over to Chris's. But we basically wouldn't get home until about half eight. And then I wouldn't get to him for like half nine or whatever. So it wouldn't have worked. Um, so essentially, long story short, I'm just very dolled up to sit in my flat for, <laughs> for the next sort of four hours just having some more leftover paella for lunch and uh yeah it's just me and you toaster i'm actually looking good today he doesn't care this is why i'm lonely Ooh. well i have both i'm lining them up so today we are in london 10 and we have we're come in, to in see we're in essex and we've uh, come to see uh, Chris's nieces and take them out for the day so that'll be really fun. We've got two doggies in the back who've been very very good all the way. Oh, she's got a brand new collar which is nice. Uh, and yeah we're gonna go play crazy golf and go for some lunch and maybe do some bowling and just do some fun stuff. I'm very excited. I haven't played crazy golf or bowled or anything in ages. I'm gonna win. You're not going to win. <laughs> It's not one of those kind of day outs where, you know, I have to be really cute and let you win. You're not winning. <laughs> yeah. Oh, straight down the middle. Yes, Rosie! Yes, Rosie! Woohoo! Is that really, is that what that is? It's 62 by <laughs> Good morning everybody, happy Sunday. Sorry I look rough as hell. We got soaked playing mini golf yesterday. Um, and we just had such a great time. The girls really enjoyed it. And the journey back wasn't too bad, although we didn't get back until like 10 p.m. The dogs were really good. We left them at Chris's mum and dad's house and Toby only did one wee in the kitchen, so that's all right. Um, and he had a nice little cuddle with Chris's mum. Uh, so yeah, today I don't know what we're up to. <coughs> just ordered breakfast, so we're having a baby sandwich. 
because we found a place nearby that does the best like bacon sandwiches with um, tomato on. Oh, so good, like tin tomato. Where I'm from, we call it splash. Uh, so yeah, having a cup of tea in my comfies, watching a bit of Frasier, waiting for Sunday brunch. This is currently brushing the sofa. Oh my God, Archie's hair. <laughs> Life hack, um, if you use one of the kitchen, um, one of the bathroom squeegees, or you know, like the squeegee that you do for you to de your car, on yeah. a material sofa, it actually gets off loads of dog hair, which is really handy. Anyway, I look rough as hell, my God. I need to do something with this, but then it's Sunday, so I can't really be bothered. I will probably end this vlog here, but thank you very much for watching this week. Um, and I'll see you next week, which I'm actually doing some more exciting things next week. So I think I have a pedicure booked in with some gift vouchers that I've got left over. Looking forward to that. I'm going to see Miss Saigon at Birmingham Hippodrome, which I am so excited for. I wanted to see it for years. Um, going up to see Rosie. Very exciting. See her new house and her kittens. Um, what else? What else? And Toby's going for his very first groom at the groom room at Pets at Home. So I'll take you along for that one. Hopefully he doesn't get stressed too much. And I think we might have a barbecue at the weekend. And that's about it. Much more exciting than this week. But thank you for bearing with me in these crappy two weeks. It's payday tomorrow. So I'm very happy about that. And yeah, I shall see you again next week. Bye! <laughs> How are you getting on using your phone with your Freddy Krueger fingers? Right, well. I'm just going to figure this out. <laughs>